I put the baking soda in first. Mm -hmm. Put the cork in. Yep. Ram it in. Yep, and then run. And run. Yep. Okay, got it. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. I'm putting the baking soda in. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Hi, Blue Peter. I'm Jessica. I made a rocket called SpaceX at home. Why don't you make one too? Well, Jessica, we took your advice and I am so, so excited for this next part because we're doing actual rocket science with our expert scientist, Hannah Rose, everyone. Hi, Adam. Hello, Hannah Rose. Welcome to BP. You have the badge. How does it feel to be here? I'm so excited. Thanks so much for having me. OK, so what are we doing today? OK, well, we've got a great challenge set up for us by Jessica. So you up for some super science fun today? I love science. I love fun. Let's do it. Excellent. Well, first things first, let's talk about rockets. So rockets are what we use to take things into space, including people. But to make a rocket fly, we've got to give it enough thrust to beat the force of gravity that's pulling it down to the ground. OK. OK, now we're going to try three different kinds of rockets today. Each time, we're going to up the ante. Ooh. And the best part is, these are all things that you can try at home. Nice. So for our first rockets, we're going to power them using our muscles. OK, so you feeling strong today, Adam? Feeling very strong, always strong. <laughs> Excellent, OK. So I'll have a go first. And then you have a go, OK? So all you need is a plastic bottle, like a milk bottle, like the one we've got here, and a little paper cone, like so. I'm going to pop that on top, and then we're just going to squash that milk bottle, OK? Right. So on the count of three, one, two, three. Wow, Not pretty bad. impressive. Okay. OK, are you ready to have a go? I'm ready to have a okay. go. Oh, safety don't forget glasses. your safety glasses. Yep, OK. Help so what we're doing here is we're pushing the air out of the milk bottle, and it's going to take the paper cone up with it. Are you ready, ready, Adam? Three, two, one. Woo! Amazing. Well done. That's OK. Pretty good. I love pretty that. Pretty straightforward, yeah? It's pretty simple, pretty basic, but what's the next one? We're going to go a little bit more powerful Ooh, for this next wow. one. OK, so same basic idea. We've got these contraptions here. Looks a little complicated. It's yep. not. Don't worry. So we've got a plastic bottle that I've taped onto some plastic tubing as well. So if we pop it down here. Now, if you want to try this at home, you could use garden hose or uh, even just some kitchen roll tubes taped together. Just make sure there's nowhere for the air to go except out the end like that. OK, right. so if we pop it down on the ground like that, Adam. Uh -huh. OK, and then we need to grab our paper rockets. Right. Oh, wow, look at these. These look a lot more industrial. They're pretty good, aren't they? They're yeah. a little bit more streamlined, so that might help us get a little more height. So okay. let's pop that on there. OK. Nice. We're going to do this one together, Adam. On the count of three, we're going to stomp down on that bottle as hard as we can, give it a little bit more force, right. see how high we can get it. OK. Are you ready? OK. Let's three, do it. two, one. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> they went so high! How good was that? that Way more power. That was incredible. I love that one. <laughs> That's a lot, lot more powerful than the milk curtain. For sure, for sure. But you mentioned there's three experiments. Absolutely right. And this one is the biggest of them all. Now, so far, we've been using our muscle power, haven't we? OK, but real rockets work a little bit differently. Okay. They burn rocket fuel to create super hot gas, OK? And that gas gets pushed out of the bottom of the rocket, which sends the rocket itself up into the air. It's actually the same reason that when we push down on the ground, we jump up in the air. Oh, yeah. Newton's third law. Pretty cool. Mm. So what have we got for this experiment? Let's take a look. Right. OK, so underneath have? your table, you should have a bottle. Can you grab that out for me? Yeah. OK, wow. so we've taped some paper sticks to the outside just to give our launch a little bit more stability. Uh, you could also use paper straws or just pencils for that. What's and inside, that? Yeah, it's rocket fuel. Rocket fuel? Yeah, no, not the real stuff, don't worry. Uh, we're using our version of rocket fuel, which is vinegar with just a little bit of food colouring. So um, that explains the smell. Yeah, it's I got a real it was... whiff to it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what we've also got there is some baking soda. OK? Right. So what you're going to do is you're going to add that to the bottle and then, uh, quick as you can, you're going to put a cork in the end. Because what that's going to do is they're going to react with each other and make a gas called carbon dioxide, OK? That gas is going to build up and build up and the pressure's going to get higher and higher and higher until it all comes shooting out the end, which is going to... Shall we find out? Hang on, you keep yeah. saying I am going to be pouring in the, the baking soda and doing the, the cork. Mm -hmm. Are you not doing this? Yeah, no, I thought I'd get you to do this one, actually. Uh, you're, you're making me do the most extreme experiment that we're doing right now? Yeah. Yep. And, uh, oh, I should mention that um, it's all going to happen really, really fast. So you're a fast runner, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, just put the cork in and run as fast as you can. It's all going to be fine. <laughs> okay. Go for it. <laughs> okay. I put the baking soda in first. Mm -hmm. Put the cork in. Yep. Ram it in. Yep, and then run. And run. Yep. Okay, got it. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. I'm putting the baking soda in. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Oh my goodness! That? that was incredible! <laughs> we have to see a replay of that. That was honestly unbelievable. So good. I wasn't expecting it to go that high. Wasn't that amazing? That is oh. incredible. Hannah Rose, thank you so much for coming and showing us how it is done. Um, and the best thing of all, you can do that at home. You can try all these experiments at home with the help of an adult. Um, Richie, what do you think of this experiment? Pretty impressive. <laughs>